Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at the new Casio G-Shock GA110HC-1A. It's got a uh, long name there, but um, I'm sure you guys will recognize this from um, Casio's 2011 lineup. This is a pretty cool looking watch. Um, it's just a basic quartz movement, um, no solar, no atomic, um, just good old battery power. Uh, it's got unique styling with the uh, you know purple face and the blue accents, um, as well as purple buttons on the sides. It's got a uh, really sleek, um, glossy black. Uh, band here. It's real shiny and you know it's straight black pretty cool looking. Um, this watch is basically one that you buy because you like how it looks. Um, you know you're gonna have to like the colors although it does come in a bunch of other colors. Um, all kinds of arrangements from lime green and pink to baby blue and all kinds of stuff. I think this one's the coolest looking in my opinion with the black and the purple face. Um, so let's take a look at the specs real quick of this watch. Um, as I said it's a quartz movement so it's not uh, solar or atomic. Um, it's uh, obviously a G-Shock so it's shock resistant, magnetic resistant. Uh, it's got a 200 meter water resistance. Um, it's got a auto LED backlight that you can actuate by pressing the reverse button up here because it does not have a, a G-Shock light button so you press this and you got a little uh, orange LED on the bottom there that shines and illuminates the uh, the arrows or the um, I'm sorry the hands it's not a, uh, a backlit display like on most G-Shocks. Uh, it's got world time, 29 time zones. Get the world time going, pressing the mode button three times or four times. There, whoops, missed it. Right here's your world, ti world time. Um, you can uh, go through the different cities by pressing the uh, start stop button down here just like you would with any other G-Shock. Um, it's got a alarm with four daily alarms and one snooze alarm. You know, standard G-Shock uh, material there. Nothing uh, special. It's got a hourly time signal. It's got a one one thousandth of a second stopwatch, which is pretty cool. Um, start your stopwatch there and you can see right in there you have uh, your um, thousandths ticking and then when you stop it you also have this arrow hand that moves to uh, show the the time elapsed and to um, reset the stopwatch you're gonna press the adjust button that resets it um, you have a uh, countdown timer as you do with most G-Shocks access that by pressing the mode button as well here's your timer start it and then you can stop it or I'm sorry you stop it down here and then you reset it up here it's got a uh, full auto calendar that's a uh, Program till the year 2099. Down here, you'll see the date. Um, and it's got 24 hour and 12 hour time formats. Um, accuracy plus or minus 15 seconds per month. It uses a CR1220 battery. Um, approximate battery life of two years on a single battery charge. Um, and it uses the 
5146 module. Now this uh, this is a uh, extra large. This this watch is in the extra large category of G-Shocks, so it is um, pretty big. I'll show you a uh, quick um, comparison to the watch I I wear every day, my uh, Casio G-Shock Riseman. You can just see how how big it looks there in comparison. You know, it totally covers up the Riseman. It's about the same weight, you know, it's not heavy or anything, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, wear big, I mean, it, it wears just fine, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a, uh, computer on your wrist, but it does feel pretty good. So let's take a look at the, uh, main face here, um, you're gonna have your day up here, so you can see it says Monday. Um, then you're gonna have your uh, your your time. You're gonna use the um, the the hour and minute hands for your time, and then you're gonna have digital seconds here. And also, I don't know if you can see in this light, but uh, there's around this blue inner circle here with the little hash marks on it. I don't know if you can see that, but there are little uh. There are markings that go around. See it starting up there, and those count down um, the every 10 seconds. So it'll go through and it'll restart and start counting again. So that's just pretty cool. Um, and uh, so then you have your your day or your date on the bottom here. And uh, you're going to have your hours over here. And then if you want to get into the uh, menu, like the main menu, you, you press down and hold the adjust button. Then that'll take you into the uh, menu where you can set your home city, hourly signal, time format, all that good stuff. So let's just take a uh, last look at the watch itself. Um, on the side, you can see the. Get that out of focus. See the buttons are purple. side the other two buttons are also purple with this texture uh, texturized um, finish on them you have a uh, dual um, dual tongue clip here or clasp which I like it's similar to the uh, one on my my Reisman. So that's basically it. I mean, pretty simple watch. Not a whole lot to talk about other than, uh, you know, just like I said, this is a watch that you're going to get because you think it looks cool, which it does. And uh, you just want a cool watch with a purple face. It's got like a, it's almost like a negative face, you know, the purple is so dark and the, it has a lighter contrast, um, uh, you know, numbers. So it's pretty much a negative face, but just you know purple. So that's pretty cool. It's got the uh, nice baby blue accents. So it's a pretty neat watch. Nice looking. Um, obviously it's a Casio G-Shock, so it's going to keep time and it's going to stand up to whatever you can dish out. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, um, please just leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you on that. And also, um, please remember to like the video if you liked it. And uh, also, please subscribe to my channel um, for future videos. Thanks for watching.